Just in time for the holiday season, we're going to be looking at the comic books that are currently trending for holiday 2020. So if you have that special comic book geek in your life that you're looking for a gift for, or you are that special comic book geek that is looking for an awesome gift for yourself, check out this video and stay tuned till the end to see what all of your options are right here, right now, coming at you. Hello to all of my ghosts of comic book Christmas past. Dante D here and welcome to the channel where we talk about comic books and other geek stuff. After a little bit of a hiatus, I apologize, November was a crazy month and I was just trying to maintain my sanity, but we're all back now. Life's been good to me. <laughs> So after researching blogs, forums, apps, I have to say that the books that are currently trending for holiday 2020 are absolutely awesome. So awesome that it probably almost makes us forget how shitty of a year that 2020 was for all of us. Let's just jump right into this list because I know many of you probably want to get to sipping your eggnog by the fireplace. Starting with our first book, Star Wars Clone Wars. Number one, and this is the first appearance of Ahsoka Tano in comic books. And I probably don't need to tell you all why this comic book is currently trending. If you are following and watching The Mandalorian, and if you're not watching and following The Mandalorian, I highly suggest you do. It is an awesome show. But Ahsoka Tano recently made an appearance in one of the episodes, and she's currently being portrayed by Rosario Dawson. She's doing an awesome job playing Ahsoka. Was so excited to see Ahsoka in that show and it was just just awesome. So clearly this book here is going to be trending and fans are trying to get their hands on it because the hype over Ahsoka right now is just huge. And this book right now, prices are quite high. You're currently looking at the $250 to $750 range depending on condition but of course prices may vary any prices i'm going to, going to be telling you today are to be taken with a grain of salt Kroger. our next book on the list is another star wars book we're actually going to have a few star wars books on this list because there's just so much happening right now in the star wars world with shows in development for disney plus and current shows Mandalorian is super, super popular, so people are trying to pick those books that have some sort of connection uh, to The Mandalorian. Therefore, I present to you Star Wars number 42, and this is from Marvel's original run on Star Wars that started in the late 1970s. This book here is a monumental issue for Star Wars. It is not only the first appearance of Bosk, it's not, it's not only the first appearance of Yoda, but it is the first appearance of Boba freaking Fett. And also Darth Sidious, but really, who cares about him? It's treason, then. Everyone really wants this book right now because of Boba Fett. And yes, Boba Fett has always been a particularly popular character in the Star Wars universe. However, now he's even more so because he is now in The Mandalorian. Also trending right now are a lot of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles books uh the last ronin which is a, a story in the teenage mutant ninja turtle comics that debuted not too long ago i was thinking i think it was at the, the end of october uh has been very very successful very very popular so collectors are now going nuts over anything having to do with the teenage mutant ninja turtles teenage mutant ninja turtles adventures number one this is a great book. Uh, it is the first appearance of Bebop. It's also the first appearance of Rocksteady, but not only that, this is the first comic book issue in which we see the turtles wearing their color identifying masks. Most Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles fans know that in the original comics, the original TMNT uh, comics uh, were, were black and white, so you couldn't really tell uh, the color of their masks. But even when we started getting a little bit of color, they, they didn't have different colored masks. This is when we started seeing Raphael have red, Leonardo have blue, Michelangelo have orange, and Donatello have purple. Currently, you can expect to pay anywhere between $50 
and $150 for this book, of course, depending on condition. Darkhawk number one, this is actually a very affordable uh, comic. You can currently get this comic anywhere between four and $20. It's super, super economical. This was a book that was published uh, in the 90s during that huge comic book craze. Now, this book is currently trending because, of course, people are starting to get some nostalgia for some of those 90s books that they were reading when they were kids. But not only that, there was a report on Bleeding Cool that explained that uh, Darkhawk has just been made a, a trademark, so people aren't really sure if uh, Marvel possibly, maybe might be planning to do something with this character on the big screen or in the way of some sort of TV Netflix series. Another Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle book. This is Raphael TMNT number one. And this book here is the first appearance of Casey Jones, but it is also the first Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle one-shot spinoff. As we all know, the very first issue of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles is currently out of the price range of most collectors. So a lot of collectors are now resorting to some of the uh, cheaper alternatives and some of the cheaper milestones in the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle library. But this book, even though it is cheaper than the uh, than TMNT number one, it is not by any means cheap. This book is currently going from anywhere between 300 to $1,000, of course, depending on condition. Batman number 181. This is the first appearance of Poison Ivy, and I was actually really surprised to see that this book was trending. Now, DC hasn't really done anything with Poison Ivy, on screen anyway, uh, since Batman and Robin in 1997, and as we all know, that was an absolutely horrendous movie. Uh, she did play a pretty cool role in the in the Arkham series, uh, but in in the way of like the the big screen TV, she hasn't really been um, she hasn't really made that many appearances. Of course, yeah, she didn't make an appearance in Gotham, but the hype has been really quiet about Poison Ivy. I think the reason why this book is currently trending, Poison Ivy is a very well known villain from the Batman Rogues Gallery. And all of the Batman villains that are so well known first made their appearances in the Golden Age. And those books right now are just so, so, so expensive. Um, Poison Ivy is, of course, one of the big villains in the Batman rogue, rogues gallery. And she probably is one of the most recent uh, villains that's huge from the Batman rogues gallery. So a lot of people are going to that book because it isn't as expensive as, say, the first appearance of Penguin, or the first appearance of the Riddler, or the first appearance of the Joker. That being said, this book is still a little expensive. Depending on condition, you're looking at anywhere between $300 and $1,500 for Batman number 181. And my favorite book on this list, Sleepwalker number one. This book currently is trending because there's been a little bit of that hype over Darkhawk, like I mentioned a little bit earlier. Now, because people are paying some attention to Darkhawk, they're also starting to pay some attention to some of those classic 90s heroes that debuted in books that were really hot in the 90s. Sleepwalker was one of them. I absolutely love Sleepwalker, I have the whole run in my collection. It is just great. And this book is very, very economical. If you're looking to pick it up, you can pick it up probably for even a dollar, but on the high end, you're looking at $10. Marvel Age number 97. This is technically not a comic book. It's more of previews, but nevertheless, people are looking to pick this up because in this book, you have a preview of Darkhawk. And of course, there has been a little bit of hype stirring about Darkhawk, like I mentioned a little bit earlier. This book right here, really not that expensive, also very economical. You could probably pick it up for a dollar, but on the high end, you're looking at maybe $15, $20. And again, we have another Star Wars book. This is Star Wars Heir to the Empire number one. This is the first appearance of Thrawn, the first appearance of Mara Jade, who was the wife of Luke Skywalker in Legends. And if you are watching The Mandalorian, you would know that Thrawn has now been mentioned and he is most likely expected to make an appearance in The Mandalorian. So hype over this book is currently high. Now the prices are kind of like all over the place. Uh, I found between $7 and even $100, depending on condition, depending on the seller. Uh, but that is roughly uh, what you can expect to pay. Another economical book on this list, that would be Batman number 442. 
This is the first appearance of Tim Drake in the Robin costume. Now, little caveat here, Tim Drake does not actually appear at, in the Robin costume in this issue. He just appears in the Robin costume on the front, but nevertheless, it is still considered the first appearance of Tim Drake in the Robin costume. Cheap book here, you're looking at anywhere between a dollar and maybe $15, but the hype over this book is currently due to the fact that Tim Drake possibly may be expected to make an appearance in Titans Season 3. Titans is another great show. I have been really, really surprised by it. It's on Netflix, and I cannot wait for the third season because so far it has wowed me. Batman, number 638. This is the issue in which Jason Todd is revealed to be the Red Hood. This is a great, great story arc from uh, Batman, which is now going back many, many years. I'm thinking maybe even 15 years now, 15, 20 years. But it was uh, just, just great. Uh, I definitely recommend checking it out. And uh, the hype over this book currently is due to the fact that uh, I think Red Hood is supposed to be expecting to make some sort of appearance um, in relation to Jason Todd in the Titans show. Prices for this book can range anywhere between $10 and $50. Next book on this list is the free comic book day edition of One Punch Man. I think this is going back only a couple years now. Um, but as you all know, if you're really heavy into reading comic books and into the comic book culture, you'll know that manga is really gaining traction in North America. And One Punch Man has been a very, very popular character. The reason why this book is currently trending is because this book here is the first U.S. publication appearance of One Punch Man. This book right now is ranging anywhere between $30 and $80. And the last book on the list, of course, has to be a Star Wars one. Another really, really cool Star Wars book from uh, the original run on Star Wars from Marvel back in uh, the uh, late 70s and early 80s. This is Star Wars number 81. And this is the comic in which we see Boba Fett escaping from the Sarlacc pit. Why would we care about this? Well, of course, for Boba Fett to be in The Mandalorian, he would have had to have escaped the Sarlacc pit in Return of the Jedi. So we are seeing that in this story here. So that about does it for our video today. Really, really hope that you enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments of some other comic books that are currently trending right now or and point out to me some of your favorites that are currently trending. Let me know some of the books that you intend to maybe gift for yourself or gift to a friend this holiday season. Until next time, this is Dante D signing off. I will see you all in the next episode. Now get out of here!